What's up, my YouTube base? If you've been here before, a big welcome back. If not, welcome to the experience. Today, toast the ovens. Who doesn't love them? This convenient tabletop appliance allows you to toast, bake, and roast foods quickly without having the need to heat up the larger oven. I always try to use the tray when using the tea oven. Unfortunately, not cleaning it regularly can lead to a buildup of grime from grease and splatters. The inside of the oven is in pretty good shape, but the trays and racks can use a little attention. Today, I want to tackle that job without scratching up the surfaces too much. To accomplish this, I'm going to use this heavy duty oven cleaner. I've used it before on my pots. I'll post a link to that video in the description section below. I'd recommend that you wear gloves and use an old sponge that's been worn out. And with that, let's go. I like to do this process outside as the fume from the cleaner could be quite strong. You should make sure your surface area is well covered where you're about to use the spray. Ensure you shake the cleaner well and spray it on the surface area of the pan where it is caked on grease. I'm going to let these sit in the side of the sun for a couple hours while I do something with the oven on the inside of the house. I covered up the heating element inside the oven just to make sure nothing falls on it while I'm cleaning the inside of the oven. I'm just going to use a little bit of the cleaner on those tough spots on the grill that's covering the heating element. I'm using a little bit of the cleaner inside the oven as I don't want to scratch the surface too much by using a scouring pad. Back outside, this has been sitting for at least an hour now and you can see where the grease is starting to separate from the pan. And you can see that some of the grease is already starting to flake away from the pan. This has been in the sun for at least two hours now. And this is great. I'm just letting the sun and time do the work for me. Okay, I think we're at the point now where I can bring this inside and see what comes off. Okay. Wow, that came up like melted butter. First tray, good so far. Again, I'm using a brush, not a scouring pad, as I don't want to scratch the surface of the pan too much. Man, that water is hot.
This is what the pattern looks like after the first round. I'm not happy with this result. I'm going to try a round two. Okay, back into the sun this goes. Wow, towards into round two, you can now really see the flaking of the grease from the pan. Okay, back inside to try again. Okay, look at that. First pan, no more spots. Okay, this rack is looking nice. And now the final test, this pan. Oh wow, just look at the grease just come right off of it. Add a little bit of soap to help with the final cleaning process. Okay, this is much better. I'm much happier with the final results here. Did I mention? I was a professional dishwasher in my junior years. That's why I love Greg getting the grease and grime off of these pots and pads. Again, I'm using the soft side of the sponge and not the gristle part because I don't want to scratch the surface of these pans too much. Now for the final rinse. To clean the inside of the oven, you could use normal soap and water. Clean the doors, clean the knobs, the walls, and the glass.
I guarantee you soaking these pans overnight will not get you this far so quickly with minimum effort. I could do around three, but I think you get the idea of what happens every time you apply the cleaning solution to the pan. Okay folks, I think my job here is done for today. If I can do it, you can do it too. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit notification, leave me a comment, and I'll see you on our next one.